Hello, this is Lau from EPSM College Baroni, and today we are going to talk about the James Lange theory of emotion. Uh, James Lange theory of emotion is very uh, important one, and also it is one of the earliest theory of emotion. And as the name suggests, uh, this theory has been propagated by uh, William James from uh, uh, Ameri uh, American psychologist, and later on it was uh, supported by uh, other psychologists uh, from Denmark. Uh, that was uh, uh, Lange and that's why it became as James Lange theory of emotion. Uh, James Lange the theory of emotion is very popular one uh, for uh, two reasons we can say the first reason is uh, because it was the earliest one and the second reason is uh, uh, it, it talked about uh, some opposite uh, uh, some uh, very uh, contrasting views. Uh, he uh, The theory gave very contrasting views about emotion. Uh, the contrasting means uh, it it uh, it turned the upside upside down the common sense understanding of emotion. What does it mean? It means that uh, we uh, normally we understand that uh, we cry because we are sad. We uh, run because we are uh, afraid. We laugh because we are uh, uh, happy. But this theory has told that we run that's why we are afraid we cry that's why we are uh, sad and we laugh that's why we are happy so if we stop laughing we would not feel happy if we stop uh, uh, crying we would not feel sad and if we stop running then we would not feel uh, afraid so this was very interesting view uh, uh, as far as emotion as far as the functioning of emotion concerned as far as uh, experience of emotion is concerned and uh, <clears throat> if we talk about the stages that has been given by this theory then uh, there is uh, three stages that involves in experience of emotion uh, the first stage uh, is uh, when we when we uh, when we encounter uh, when we come across some situation or some object or some stimulus that can cause emotion okay so we uh, first stage is experiencing oh, sorry perception of uh, object perception of stimulus or perception of situation the second stage is uh, experience of bodily reactions okay and bodily reactions involves uh, pers uh, changes in perspiration of uh, uh, yeah pers perspiration rate of perspiration changes in rate of breathing and uh, changes in rate of heartbeat okay as well as some other things uh, so <coughs> these are the uh, external bodily changes this is the second stage and the third stage is experience of emotion that has been caused by this bodily changes as per this james lange theory of emotion okay uh, <clears throat> so uh, james lange has uh, told us had told us that uh, we uh, our perception of the reaction is the basis for the emotion we experience and if we uh, if you try to give a, we, if i try to give an example uh, of experience of emotion as per this theory then we can say the first stage starts when we perceive some environmental situations like uh, uh, suppose you experience you saw uh, so uh, you see uh, one uh, tiger okay in you when you are going somewhere uh, in a forest you you see a tiger in front of you this is the first stage the second stage starts when your body start reacting to the situation to the tiger to the object okay and I already talked about the uh, things that involves that come under the bodily reactions okay means uh, you can start uh, very uh, fast perspiration uh, you can start very high breathing 
and uh, you can start uh, running also so this uh, and your heartbeat may also uh, start um, very fast so these are all body reactions just after the uh, perception of tiger in front of you and the third stage uh, come when you perceive in your brain perceive this pattern of bodily activity uh, and you feel emotion okay you feel fear in the present uh, example okay so this is the third three stages involved in uh, the perception of emotion the experience of emotion now talk about the criticism of this theory there are some shortcomings in this theory that has not been uh, improved that has not been rectified by the uh, James and Lange and that's why it uh, became uh, uh, not very useful and the criticism uh, was that uh, <coughs> the psychologist said that for this theory to work two things are uh, necessary two things are very necessary the first thing is that for every emotion there is a need uh, to a very specific bodily pattern of uh, there, there is a pattern of uh, sorry there is a specific pattern of bodily uh, reactions okay for each and every emotion there would be a specific pattern of bodily reaction understood means for fear there would be a specific bodily pattern uh, of reaction for anger there would be a different bodily pattern of reaction for love there would be a different bodily pattern of reaction for sad there would be a different bodily pattern of reaction okay and so and so the second thing uh, that, uh, that, that is uh, required for this uh, theory to work is the individual must have the capacity to distinguish or to recognize the ongoing bodily reaction in his body okay but in reality it has not found true because uh, our bodily reactions are more or less same when it comes to other emotions okay we we uh, we uh, react uh, more or less same to many emotions okay like anger like surprise uh, fear we react more or less in a same way so <clears throat> these are the two shortcomings uh, that has been not rectified by the James Lanzi and that's why it has become it has attracted a lot of criticism from the other psychologists and uh, eventually it became not very useful so this was all about the james nanji theory of emotion in the next class uh, i'll talk about canon bar theory okay so thank you very much for uh, listening me and if you like uh, this uh, video this uh, uh, lecture then please uh, like this channel subscribe this channel and also share this with your friends thank you very much